Hi friends, it's Paul and welcome to my first customizing video. Today we will be customizing Cyclone Percival, so let's take a look first at uh, this background. You know, really like the black and silver colors of this Percival and I don't know if I'm the only one, but the overall shape and especially that head sculpt reminds me a lot of the Percival from the show. More than the actual Percival figure that we all have. So, my idea is to give this Cyclone Percival a total makeover and make him have a bit more of a show accurate colors look. You know, give him a bit of purple and yellow details so he looks more like the classic Percival I think we all know. For the paints that we will be using for this custom, I've got this metallic black uh, Gundam marker that I've been waiting so long to use and I think it's gonna look incredible in this Bakugan. Then we got this metallic purple slash pinkish color and I gotta say this one looks really awesome and I really love it. And last but not least we've got this metallic yellow that looks as we say in Spanish bellissimo. So for starters we're going to be painting the bottom silver area of Percival with the metallic black ink paint, you know, whatever you want to call it. First I'm going to be using a fine brush to start the painting process and just as a heads up to everyone I'll be speeding up a couple of sections of the video because if I don't we're going to be stuck here for like 3 hours because it really took me 3 hours to paint this puzzle. After a while I decided to change brushes to a bigger one to cover more area in less time and you know sometimes I recommend to start with a fine brush you know to get a hang of the paint see how it works see how it sticks to the surface and then you go to a bigger one so you are able to you know cover bigger areas in less time. Of course after a while when you know you're back to smaller areas I recommend you know going back to the smaller brushes to cover those missing spots. So after letting the paint dry for a while, we're also going to paint the top half of Percival so that it also has that metallic finish as in the lower area. Sometimes people tend to ask me like how long I have to wait before the paint fully dries. And in my experience with mainly Gundam markers, usually uh, it's between 10 to 15 minutes, but it kind of depends on the color you're using. In most cases, most colors will dry super quick and there's no problem. However, the most problematic colors that I've, you know, worked with, with in my experience with these markers are usually the red and black colors because they always give me trouble for some reason. And I, I think they tend to dry a bit slower. And I'd say that for these colors, you gotta wait like a solid 30 minutes for them to be fully dry. I don't know, it's weird. Gundam markers sometimes can be weird when you use them. Now we're going to be doing the exact same thing with Percival's head so that it also has that metallic finish as the rest of the body.
Okay, so now we're going to be painting Percival's little arms with the metallic purple. This color looks really, really beautiful and it's so vibrant. Like the recording doesn't do justice to how colorful this purple is. Like, believe me, it's crazy, crazy vibrant. The good thing of this paint was that it stuck really well to the surface, so it just needed two coats of paint. And just a little tip for all of you, in areas where different parts of the back one will be coming into contact, you should be a little bit cautious about the amount of coats of paint you apply here. Because if you put a lot, a lot of paint, uh, when you try to close or open the Bakugan is gonna get stuck and the paint is gonna get really messed up So you should try to apply maybe one or two coats in these areas Now going to the little side fins Percival has we're going to mainly cover the area with the purple marker Just like the cartoon version of Percival so once again here, you gotta be careful with the amount of coats you give to the area so that it doesn't get stuck when you try to, you know, open or close the Bakugan. So here we got a major fail I had to experience in this uh, painting process. I was wanting to paint the purple, I'll call them eyebrows that Percival has. So I tried using the tape usually used in painting to cover areas where you didn't want a certain color. I placed it over the areas I had painted black and went on to paint the eyebrows with the purple paint. And whoop, it didn't work out. As it turns out, the tapes I used weren't the best of the best out there, and they totally messed up the black paint. As I peeled the tapes off, you could see that the paste of the tape totally destroyed the metallic finish. It looked horrible. I had no other option to repaint the entire area again. And after that, I had to do the other eyebrow, as we say in Spanish, alojo. Basically, without the help of the tape. Afterwards, we went on to paint the outer area of the little side fins, and those luckily didn't give me any trouble. And after finishing up that area, we went on to paint Percival's feet, and these once again didn't give me any trouble, thank god. And damn, I really like this purple paint, it's really, really awesome. And now we're finally at the end of the process. We just gotta paint the horns and the cape of Percival with the metallic yellow. So to be honest, using this yellow was a bit tricky and somewhat problematic. For some reason, the paint wasn't really sticking that well to the areas. There were a couple of spots where the paint just started to spread out and it looked really bad. In cases of that style, what I tend to do is paint a full coat of paint doesn't matter if there are spots that are messed up a bit, just let it dry, like fully fully dry, and afterwards give it a second coat of paint and that should usually do the trick. And if it doesn't, I'd recommend you do it a third time. Maybe not a fourth time, I think the third time should be enough. And Percival is done. Damn, this back one looks amazing with these metallic markers. I don't know, I don't know, they just look super vibrant and above all, really shiny. Especially when you put it, uh, the back one under a light, it looks incredible. So this has been the entire painting process of Percival. 
I tried to cram in those three hours into 10 minutes and it was really tough. And if you like what you saw and want to see more customizing tutorials, figure reviews and other stuff of that style, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, all the good stuff. This has been Paul and I'll see you in the next video.